service discovery okay so this is going to be one of the biggest problem in the microservice world because i'm talking about scaling up scaling down one service may come up suddenly okay so i am doing a deployment the ip address of my service may change all these things can happen in a very dynamic way right right but how i am going to uh, register the new apis which are going to come in right that is going to be the biggest problem so let's say i have a um, order processing api which is running on let's say 10.0.0.2 okay on port 80 after i do a deployment the ip address of the um, uh, internal ip address of the thing change from 10.0.0.3 how my client will know or how the consumer will know that ip address has been changed okay so that is where there are multiple service discovery concepts are available okay so the first concept is called client side discovery so that means so there will be a component called service registry new request comes in okay so the details will be available in the service registry so the client will query the service registry and get the latest ip of the particular service and make the connection for it okay so there will be a separate concept called service registry and that will be consuming so the client will do this activity for me so it can be your mobile app which does the first connect to your service registry and from there it is going to do that okay so the next concept is called server side registry where i am going to have a router deployed on my server the router will query the service registry and give the ip address to the client service client so this concept is called server side discovery and the next concept is called service registry whenever the service is coming up there will be a database of the service will be available so once the service comes up the service itself go go ahead and register itself in the database okay so that will be service registry and next is the oh sorry service registry is uh, so it is a database of service and this will be updated by your uh, um, hosting platform like uh, kubernetes or something like that which will be uh, updating okay this service is listening on this kind of uh, portal and the typical example is the etcd cluster which is we are going to have it in the kubernetes cluster the next thing is called the self registration this is where the service will come and register itself on the service registry while coming up okay and next concept is called third party registration so third party registration is something like um, you could have seen this in the aws um, auto scaling group uh, prana or some kind of um, Uh, registrar this kind of tools which can collect the information and come and update my registry okay and um, basically it will be something similar to your aws uh, uh, auto scaling group so aws auto scaling group is something like a concept where uh, i am adding one load balancer okay and the load balancer is connected to two machines okay if suddenly i can say that okay if the average cpu of the two machines is greater than 30 percentage i want new machine to be brought in it will automatically bring up the machine and it will automatically add it to the load balancer so this kind of third party tools we use to update the registration that's called third party registration okay so uh, here in our uh, uh, lab we are going to talk about two different service registries uh, which we are going to see one is the kubernetes which is going to update the details by the etcd and another method is called as a istio istio uses a sidecar pattern okay